In fact, the problem with falling relationship right now is very early we have allowed children to do this. I went for basketball coaching. It was not interesting or I didn't like the coach or I didn't like somebody with whom I played. I didn't like the basket. I didn't like the ball. So I leave. I remember taking an infinite path in Pune and Yesh, one of the kids was asking, Matri, I have taken this job. I already worked there for about six months. It's not promising to be what I want it to be. I'm not enjoying it. So shall I quit? I told Yesh, don't. The fact you're not enjoying it, don't quit. It's a very bad disease to develop, Yesh, very early in life. If I don't like it, I will leave it. You can't do that in life. Because tomorrow you might find yourself in relationship which may not be exactly what you expected. In fact, the problem with falling relationship right now is very early we have allowed children to do this. I went for basketball coaching. It was not interesting or I didn't like the coach or I didn't like somebody with whom I played. I didn't like the basket. I didn't like the ball. So I leave. I think we have to teach our children very early in life. Sometimes in life, even if you don't like it, because you have taken it up, you have to do it long enough. You can't be a quitter in life at every stage. I don't like this, I will leave this. I don't like that, I will leave this. I am not enjoying this, I will drop out from this. You will be a dropout in life. Sometimes I have to find myself in an environment where this is not what I expected to be. And I think these are environments like how in a gutter water a beautiful lotus will bloom. These are opportunities in life for you to show that even when the entire environment was not perfect for me, I still gave my best. My best did not come out because the environment was conducive. Independent of the standard. My boss is not good, so I will not work properly. My salary is not good, I will not work properly. There is no standard for you. Independent of my salary, independent of my recognition, I have certain standards and I want to live up to those standards. When New Zealand was a very, very weak team, there was a Richard Hadley who said, yes, mine is a weak team. We may win, we may not win. But there is a performing standard for me and I will continue to keep performing to that standard. So sometimes you will have to show yourself more than anybody else. The organization did not turn out to be what I expected it to be. But I have certain standards and I will keep performing to that standards. Not less than that. I was telling Yesh, just because you don't like it, show yourself for another. Because attitudes don't care where you shape them. For another few months, show yourself, even though I don't like the environment in which I am working, not the quality of work I am doing. I am not somebody, I am not a quitter. I am not going to run away from life because I don't like it. Sometimes I am going to be in an environment which I don't like it and show, even in this environment, I have certain standards and I will live up to those standards. In spite of the fact, from day one you realize this is not the sort of organization. For It was an opportunity for you to keep showing. There is the standard for me and I will keep, and I am not going to quit. When I say go and work in a corporate, I am not thinking skill development will happen. Personality development happens. Attitudinal development happens. You grow as a human being. Maturity development happens. Skill development is a very small part of the job. Because tomorrow when you grow into an entrepreneur, if you don't have the skill, you can outsource it. There are skillful people out there in the world who can do it for you. You can outsource. Skill can be outsourced. Attitude cannot be outsourced. Maturity cannot be outsourced. Leadership cannot be outsourced. And this is what you learn in a job. Skill is the last thing I want you to learn in any job because that can be outsourced. Somewhere in all the ways life is creating you.